Having built up the expectation that Wheatley is going to kill the player, we still wanted the actual moment to be a surprise. By this point, players are entirely comfortable with faith plates, and the simple subversion of expectations as Wheatley punts you sideways is a fun and surprising moment. We added the bouncing box with the intention that players attempt to time their jump to catch the box, focusing their attention on the expected result of their jump and heightening the surprise. We had a bunch of levels that used crusher panels in ways that made the test chambers more dangerous. After showing some of these levels in press demos, we got feedback that viewers were getting the impression that Portal 2 was going to be too difficult, since players would have to time events such as running or falling through a portal while avoiding getting hit by a deadly crusher. We ultimately decided to save these crushers for the escape when Wheatley tries to hold you off. Oh, I've got an idea! Yes, yes, in your face, I got one. In this excursion funnel ride, playtesters would often end up shooting the wrong portal at the critical moment and killing themselves. This ruined the moment for players, who often didn't quite understand why their excursion funnel hadn't been redirected. As a solution, we now detect when the player places the wrong portal in hopes of saving themselves. We help them out by moving their other portal under the excursion funnel source. This effectively makes this section foolproof by allowing the player to shoot either portal to save themselves. When playtesting the final boss battle, we found players were confused about what to do when they entered Wheatley's lair. Our solution was to train the player by having them break glass paint pipes in the previous level. This lets them learn the mechanic without any time pressure before they have to fight Wheatley. This also trains the player to redirect the bombs Wheatley throws at them. There was a lot of debate over how to properly punish Wheatley at the end of the game. Killing him seemed too severe given how much we'd grown to love the character. On the other hand, simply letting him out of the GLaDOS body with a slap on the wrist seemed unacceptably anticlimactic. Having him sucked out into space with a space sphere seemed like a happy middle ground that everybody could get behind. Wheatley used to have different kinds of attacks other than mobbing bombs. At one point, we tried attaching several turrets to him that he could point at you. This proved too punishing, however, and they were removed. We also tried crusher panels that Wheatley could try to smash you with. This once again proved too punishing, since players were focused on what Wheatley was doing and would often get hit by a crusher they weren't looking at. Two. We wanted to be scientifically accurate in this puzzle, figuring that there'd be a slight delay before you'd see a portal on the moon, since light takes 1.4 seconds to travel the distance. But playtesters would shoot the moon and instantly turn away, thinking nothing had happened. They didn't realize they had actually shot a portal on the moon. We tried and rejected a few different approaches to communicate the effect, including a cheat involving quantum entanglement, before settling on the current solution to this problem. Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah, run! 